You're late. I've been waiting a long time for you. Now if you want to proceed, please sign your name there. It's a contract. Don't worry. All it says is that you'll accept full responsibility for your actions. You know, the usual stuff. No one can escape time. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears and cover your eyes. And so it begins. Go on. There. Wait. with you. Soon the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. The end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know what it is. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. 
it may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. <laughs> it's been a while. Are you well? One week from now, there will be a full moon. Be careful. A new ordeal awaits you. You will encounter one of them. You must prepare for the ordeal, but time is of the essence. I'm sure you're aware of that, of course. I'll come see you again when it's over. Goodbye for now. I came to see you again, as I promised. How are you? I'm glad you remembered me. Now, in another week, the moon will be full again. And the next ordeal will be upon you. So be careful. I'll come again. Are you awake? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. <laughs> I told you, remember? I'm always with you. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. Okay then, I hope we can speak again. You've prevailed yet again. But it's funny. It doesn't seem so certain considering the vast potential within you. As a matter of fact, your power seems to have changed quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, can I be your friend? I'm very curious about you. Is that okay? Name? Oh, I see. I need a name. My name is... Pharos. You may call me that if you wish. late. 
so I'll go now. I'm already looking forward to our next meeting. Guess what I'm going to tell you? <laughs> You're used to it by now, huh? The next full moon will be in one week. Are you prepared? Be careful, okay? I'll come again. again. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So, how's life as a Persona user? I wonder what? I hope you'll find it soon. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all goes back to an occurrence that took place many years ago. Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Hey! Didn't your parents pass away about ten years ago? A persona is like a mirror. Which means a persona user can never escape from his true self. Regardless, I will stay with you. Because we're friends. Good evening. It's becoming quite lively around you. So, how are you getting along with the others? I'm glad to hear that. It is one week until the next full moon. Are you prepared? To be honest, I'm not too worried about you. However, you should still remain cautious. I'll come to see you again. something else. The end won't be brought about by anyone in particular. It's coming because there are many people who wish for it, as if it was destined from the start. But doesn't that seem like a strange thing to wish for? Are you certain? What about those who hope for an end to their suffering? who wish to find peace. Well, enough about that for now. There's something else I wanted to tell you today. Soon, the poisonous flowers will bloom. One in your own garden, 
and three in the garden opposite yours. I don't know whether or not this has anything to do with the end. You should be careful. I'll come again if I find out anything useful. That's what friends are for, right? I'd remind you, the next full moon will be in one week. Are you ready? Only a few trials remain. So be careful. I look forward to seeing you again. have passed since we met. Time goes by so quickly, and many things change. Yet some things will always remain the same. Don't you agree? Yes. If you say so, then it must be. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. That tower, for instance. I've been thinking about it lately. I wonder, will our relationship stay the same? Or will it evolve? No matter what the future holds, you and I will be friends. That is for certain. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but there's only one more week until the full moon. I hope nothing serious happens, but who knows what the future will bring. So be careful. Remember, I'm always watching you. We'll meet again. tonight. Can you believe it's already autumn? It'll be winter before you know it. You seem tired. Did something happen? Is that so? In this world, people die every day. Until recently, this was the same to me as the blowing of the wind. But now I see things differently. For 
for the first time, I have a friend. Lately, I've become more certain of something. You know the end I've spoken of? Some people refer to it as the fall. But regardless, it's drawing near. Don't you sense it? We are kindred spirits, you and I. So why is it that only I can remember? This is a heart-rending matter. Is my existence something you are unable to accept? Forgive me if I have said anything peculiar today. Perhaps it is the change of seasons. Of course, our friendship remains steadfast. Well, I shall bid you farewell for now. Good night. It'll be a full moon again in just another week. At last, the twelfth one. Are you ready? Regardless of how long it's been, a lot has happened, hasn't it? But it's a bit soon to be reminiscing. How about I come see you once it's over? Be careful now. Good morning. This is the first time we've talked during the daytime. Nice weather, isn't it? This is indeed a new day for both of us. All the fragments of my memory, they've finally come together. I now know my role clearly. The time has come. As difficult as it may be, I must tell you something. I am afraid this is goodbye. I want you to know, for me, our friendship was a miracle. But miracles don't last forever. If only they did. I shall treasure our conversations always. Even if today is the end, the bond between us can never be severed. Remember that. It was fun while it lasted. Farewell. transfer student. As you all know, this is our third, and that makes it a hat trick. Please, introduce yourself. 
My name is Ryoji Mochizuki. I would be grateful if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. Not so loud. Nice to meet you. Ryoji lived overseas for a long time because of his parents' work. So he may not be used to all of our customs. Be sure to explain them to him. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. But that one's open. Second from the left in the front. Um, Miss Toriyumi, technically that seat's taken. You must be present to be a member of this class, so as far as I'm concerned, that seat is available. Life is nothing but a game of musical chairs. The rest of you should be careful, too. Good morning. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out on a date yet. A date? Hmm? I guess, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Rejected from the start. You're an interesting girl. <sighs> Your teacher understands, Iris. You haven't had very long to be the new student. And already you have to share the spotlight. I wish your classmates would pay attention to me for a change. Hey, are any of you even listening? Ah, there she is. Hey there, ladies. I've been looking everywhere for you. Ryoji-kun. Why are you here? Huh? Same as you. I was trying to find Mitsuru-senpai. Some girl I've never met before asked me to look for her. What? I wasn't the only one she asked, either. She said if we don't find her, the class trip might get cancelled. Seems like the Vice President has the whole school looking for you. But I'm the lucky one who found you, Mitsuru Kirijo. You're quite stunning, if I may say so. Would you like to go out sometime? I know this one restaurant. It's on the top floor of a three-star hotel. The view at night is almost as breathtaking as you. Uh huh? Senpai, you better get back to the meeting. I I suppose so. Takeba, thank you for your concern. For now, I will attend to my duties. Hey, she didn't answer my question. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Um, Yukari-san, how about you? Would you like to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Ow! Kyoto, huh? <laughs> Talk about boring. You don't like it? Personally, I think it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Whatever. <laughs> We're finally here. Whoa, nice place. 
it is an expensive area, after all. Hey, what's that umbrella for? Huh? But this is the first floor. This building would have to be pretty old. So, which way to the geishas? That's right, I forgot about that. Count me in. Keep dreaming, Junpei. The stone area outside is filled with water. Is this one of the open-air hot springs I have heard about? No, it's just a courtyard. It's not meant for bathing. So where were you guys gonna go at your old school, Ryoji? Somewhere interesting, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm. I don't really remember. Are you serious? That's the highlight of the year! Come on, you can talk later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Why don't you go get unpacked? You heard her. We'll see you later, then. Hey, knock it off, Junpei. Back over there. I guess, get with the program. This hot spring is open to guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? Then there's a chance it could change to girls only while we're still bathing. But if that happens, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, we're already here, right? That's true. We couldn't be blamed if something like that were to happen. Don't you agree? Well, it's really just a hypothetical question. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, Junpei, at what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji-kun? Right. But it could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? So that's why we came at this strange time? Oh, you two are such idiots. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. Although you're right about it being a weird time to be here. But don't worry. It's pretty late. I doubt any girls would... Someone's here. What are we gonna do? It's probably just a guy. Don't worry. This is simply a misunderstanding. We'll just act like we didn't know. Wow! This hot spring is huge! Oh, you're right. It's the size of a swimming pool. So, this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic healing benefits will not help me. Damn it, it's them! What are they doing here this late? 
Yes! Both Yukari-san and Fuka-san. This is my life. Shut up, you idiot! I'll kill you! Who's that? Is someone there? What's the matter, Yukari? Did you hear something? M Mitsuru's here too? Ah, oh, man. There's no way she'll consider this just a misunderstanding. Yeah, but it's not like we could get expelled for this, right? I mean, it, it was men only when we got here. So it's actually kind of funny, if you think about it. This is Mitsuru we're talking about. If she finds us, she'll... What? She'll what? She'll execute us. E execute us? Yeah, I think I heard something. Fuka, could you check over there? It, it could be a ghost. Um, but I, uh... Okay. We, uh, um... W wait, th th this is just a misunderstanding. Silence! I'm going to execute you all! It was nice knowing you. Everyone remembers what time we're meeting at Kyoto Station, yes? Then please be on time. If any of you are late, I'm the one who will be blamed. I'll never forget Kyoto. How could I after last night? That truly was an execution. Forget about it. Hm. 
Looks like they're still pissed. Nothing there. Sorry, it must have been my imagination. Doesn't the water seem a little hot? I'm beginning to feel faint. <laughs> it appears that Yamagishi's ability is ineffective when she's without clothing. W well, of course it is. To be honest, I am rather surprised by the difference between human bodies. More specifically... Okay, that's enough, I guess. Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Ice cream would be quite useful. I require some cooling down. Okay, they're gone. Phew, that was close. I never would have survived Mitsuru's execution. Huh? <laughs> Looks like they passed out. Well, I guess that's what they deserve. Everyone remembers what time we're meeting at Kyoto Station, yes? Then please be on time. If any of you are late, I'm the one who will be blamed. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it really wasn't that bad. I guess it's mostly because of last night. You know, in the hot spring? No, keep your voice down. Huh? What's going on, guys? Uh, um, we're just having a, um, reflection meeting. Oh, yeah? What are you reflecting on? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. Okay. Whatever. This is our secret. You guys better take it to the grave. See you later, Yoji. And hey, stop freaking out about your exams. I didn't study either. But then again, you never do. Oh, hi, what's up? Studying? You know, I'm here a lot, but I hardly ever run into you. Strange, huh? Oh, well, I'm out of here. See you later. Was that Ryoji-san? Yeah, he said he was going home. What was he doing here? He's been coming here a lot ever since he started hanging around with Junpei. But visitors aren't allowed here. Yeah, but Mitsuro Senpai said it's okay during the day. I don't think we need to worry about Ryoji kun. He's dangerous. 
Chiku? Ryo Chiku? Come to think of it, he was hitting on Mitsuru Senpai the first time he met her. He was? <laughs> but having him around has really cheered up Junpei kun. I've been looking for you. You! You're... What are you doing here? Oh, that's right. You don't really like me, do you? Well, to answer your question, I ended up here when I came to my senses. It's strange. The sky and the ground look so weird. And there's no one here. Something terrible has happened here, and yet I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? The dark hour. A time period few people are active during. But you, you've somehow adapted to it. Too well for a human, in fact. Yes, it's all so clear. Now, I understand the reason behind this feeling I sense when you're around. You are not good. You are my enemy. Your enemy? That's right. On a night like tonight, the moon was full. It was long ago. Yes. We met once before. As adversaries. Who... who am I? Who are you? I am Igis. The last remaining anti-shadow emergency control weapon. A machine created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy shadows? And you, your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. <gasps> yes, ten years ago, the night I was born into this world, I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. For that reason, I was given a personality and a persona. They said I was death. The 13th Arcana that was never meant to be. And I wasn't in this world for long before parts of my body escaped me, leaving me incomplete, as I was when I met you. Even so, your strength was far greater than I anticipated. The only possible alternative was to seal you away. And as circumstance would have it, a suitable vessel was available. A human child standing nearby. 
So I did what was necessary. I see. So I was confined within him. And I led him to my twelve missing pieces without realizing it. And then... I remember. I remember everything. It all makes sense now. Who and what I am. Palladian! Stop, don't be foolish, I guess. There's no way you can win. I'm different than before. A machine is created for a purpose. Mine is to defeat you. I exist for nothing else. It doesn't have to be that way. Worthless if it cannot fulfill its purpose. I'm sorry. I'm afraid. I'm sorry, I... I... remember everything. Who I am. Who he is. I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm... sorry. There's no need for you to apologize. You? Ryoji-kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... What's going on? It's all my fault. Akihiko, wait. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Tell us. Who are you? What are you? I'm the same as the beings you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm the embodiment of all shadows. The Apprizer, born from the union of the Twelve Arcana, the Apprizer? I remember everything now. The frightening truth about myself and shadows. It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about shadows? Yes. Shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. She will begin to awaken as she is drawn to me. The Apprizer. You. You're the Apprizer? What is this? Maternal being. 
She is a great entity. There is no comparable word in your language for her. Ten years ago, a man collected a great number of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke in an incomplete state. Not long after, I fell to Igis, as she did to me. Igis? Is that true, Ryoji? She knew she could not defeat me. So in an act of desperation, she sealed me within a child who happened to be standing nearby. That child grew up, carrying me inside him. And by a twist of fate, he later returned here. As a transfer student. You mean... Yes. I lived inside him. His special persona awakened. As did the Twelve Shadows, all in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the appraiser? A and you were inside him? None of this makes sense! It's all my fault. I'm sorry. There's more I need to tell you. Ryoji kun! He appears to be exhausted. Let's let him rest. We have Igis to attend to as well. We'll continue our talk later. Is everyone present? Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, there's more I have to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun? Yes, there are many questions we need answered. To begin with, you said shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Please elaborate on this. The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death to this world. If she is awakened, Darkness will once again cover the land, and all life will vanish. You mean everyone will die? All life will vanish? Then that must mean... The fall. But it's still possible to keep it from happening, right? What? There's no way to prevent it? I'm sorry. 
Wait, what are you apologizing for? Are you saying it's for certain? Yes. You heard the bell. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. My existence is the affirmation of the fall. When? When will it happen? I'm afraid you will not live to see spring. But that's not too far away. <laughs> what are you guys freaking out about? All we have to do is defeat this Nyx. And that won't be a problem, because we've never lost. Defeating Nyx is impossible. It has nothing to do with strength, ability, or power. Just as all living things die, and the flow of time is continuous, Nyx cannot be defeated. What? That's bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows. But now, I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. All gifts I received because I was inside him. So, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's coming cannot be avoided. But it is possible to live in peace until she arrives. You'll have to... kill me. If I were to disappear, all memories of the Dark Hour would disappear with me. As would any recollection of the fate that awaits you. You won't remember anything. The coming of the fall will be instantaneous, and you will not suffer. We'll forget everything? You'll be able to return to your normal lives. And in doing so, the time until the fall will be slightly delayed. In essence, I am the same as Nyx and cannot be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's human. So if death comes from his hands, I think it may be possible. Ryoji-kun! If you don't kill me, you will suffer more than you could ever imagine. With no hope for salvation, you will live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I... I don't want you to have to endure such pain. I don't want my memories to be erased. To forget everything would be like hiding from the truth. Would that really be such a bad thing? All that awaits you now is despair. You don't know the terror of absolute death. Please, don't make your decision without at least thinking about what I've said. <sighs> Why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. You have until December 31st, New Year's Eve, to think about it. 
After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and become intangible. Ryoji? I will disappear with the coming of Nyx anyways. So don't worry about me. I'll be back on New Year's Eve. Hey, Ryoji, wait! Wait! I can't sense him anymore. Ryoji-kun's no longer here. Are you sure? Yes. Ryoji-kun. We will see him again on New Year's Eve. Hey, long time no see. Midnight's just around the corner. At midnight, I will change from this form into something unrecognizable. So, have you reached a decision? Okay, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you'll have to kill me influence your decision. As I said before, I'm going to disappear anyways. I won't feel any pain by dying, so there's no need to worry about me. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you made your decision? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm in too. I have made my decision as well. Then we're all in agreement, yes? Better let him know then. Okay? Hey. It's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Although back then, I didn't appear in this form, and wasn't known by this name. Don't tell me you've all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But you're the only one here right now, so... I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and your memories of the battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day in fear of your inevitable death. Nyx cannot be defeated. It's useless to fight her.
Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? So, you understand. I think that looking to the future is a great way to live. But that doesn't mean that other ways of living are wrong. No one knows which road leads to happiness. I'm glad I met you. This must be what it means to feel happy. Thanks for everything. I guess my words didn't change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. See? I'm not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. Do not hesitate to kill me. I want you to think about this carefully. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Right now you are all confused by the truth. But some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You're the only one who can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. <sighs> I understand. It's regrettable, but it's your life. You can do what you want with it. I will respect your decision. Let's go back to the lounge. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? <sighs> it's an unfortunate decision. But it is yours to make. That's right. But you can't defeat Nyx. It's impossible. But we must still try. Personally, I don't care if it is impossible. I understand. It's almost midnight, so I'll keep this brief. I'll tell you where to find Nyx. She'll be at Tartarus. You must reach the top of the tower before the promised day. When's the promised day? Exactly one month from tomorrow. January 31st. 2010. Nyx will descend to Tartarus, and the world will end. 
If you go to the top of Tartarus on that day, you'll be able to face her. The tower exists for the purpose of Nyx's coming. As the appraiser, I usher Nyx into this world. And Tartarus welcomes her arrival. The tower exists for the purpose of Nyx's coming. That's why it's called the Tower of Demise. So if we reach the top, we can fight Nyx? Yes, but remember, from today you will fight against eternal despair. Like I've said so many times before, Nyx cannot be defeated. When you face her, you will finally understand this truth. And then you will realize what it is you are trying to stand against. We understand. There's no need to keep telling us. January 31st. We won't forget that date. Well, I'll be going on ahead of you then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Ryoji-kun! I guess... I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy. And my friend. I guess. Thank you. This will probably be the last time I'll see you all like this. But I'll always be watching over you. Well, goodbye. Best wishes in the coming year. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya! <laughs> that Ryoji. We finally reached the top. Hey! Look at the sky! Something's coming! Is it Nyx? I can sense it even without my persona. This is the first time that's ever happened. Ryoji-kun? 
That was my name for a time. I didn't mind it. What's going on? Wait, are you? I am merely a harbinger of the fall. Although Nyx and myself are now one in the same. Is that so? Well, regardless, I don't regret my decision. I'll defeat you no matter what you are! I see. Then you must already know. What people fear most, what they try to ignore, that is what I am. We know that already. Yeah, everyone does. You are what awaits all living things from the moment they are born. Then you also understand that it's pointless to resist. So why do you? There must be fear in your hearts. Yeah, of course I'm scared. But it's no use carrying on about it. I want to live. I'm tired of running. Living means looking death square in the face. So I won't back down. Not even from you. I will stop you even if it costs me my life. That is my own decision. I see. Everyone, get ready! Nyx is preparing to attack! I'm sensing shadows approaching from below, too! Everyone who's not fighting Nyx should try to keep them at bay. This is our last chance. We can't afford to lose. Trusting his future to the cards, man clings to a dim hope. Yes, the Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Attaining one's dream requires a stern will and unfailing determination. the means by which all is revealed. The silent voice within one's heart whispers the most profound wisdom. Here! 
shall perish. The time has come. Are you okay? Strikes are useless. I can still fight. is the means by which all is revealed. There is both joy and wonder in coming to understand another. Uncertainty.
The Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. It requires great courage to look at oneself honestly and forge one's own path. by which all is revealed. Alongside time exists fate, the bearer of cruelty. by which all is revealed. Only with strength can one endure suffering and torment. Trusting his future to the cards, man clings to a dim hope. Yet the Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Beyond the beaten path lies the absolute end. It matters not who you are. Death awaits you. Did we do it? a pity. You understand fate, yet you still fight against it with all of your will. If more people were like you, then perhaps the fall could have been prevented. But 
it's too late now. Last. <laughs> you! <laughs> Fixing, isn't it? The look on your face is priceless! Shut up! But, what are we gonna do? Something's coming! Is imminent. Surely you know this. What do you hope to accomplish now? <laughs> I wanted to see the end with my own eyes. Jin. I will never give up. Never! Why resist that which is inevitable? You'll only suffer. Damn it! I won't back down! I've made up my mind. I'll fight till the end!
on is in vain. There's nothing we can do? Don't give up. We have to believe in him. Give him strength. Take my life if you must. You got blood all over. Ash all over. Spit it out. Song game's over. No, he's not alone! I won't let him die! Did Nyx create this place, or was it him? Is he all right, Fuka? What happened? Everything was engulfed by a bright light. I don't sense him. Don't tell me he... No, that can't be! Try again. He can't be the only one. You gotta be kidding me. Damn it. Not again. We all decided to put our lives on the line. In fact, we came here knowing we would most likely die. How could I be so powerless? This is what I was trying to prevent. You're there, aren't you? I know you are! I refuse to believe that you're gone! Answer me! I know you can hear me! Here, please let us hear your voice. <gasps> Don't worry. That voice. I will sleep once again. Normal days will return to this universe for you, and for him. He's found the answer to life's greatest question. It just happened a bit sooner than it will for the rest of you. Life's greatest question. I guess you'll find the answer one day as well. You two are a precious living thing. 
You just need to realize how the bonds of friendship have changed you. The dark hour will soon vanish from this world. All will truly be relinquished from its dominion, and the legacy of life will continue. Congratulations. You have the miracle you sought. We shall meet again someday.